As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. With Grand Theft Auto Online having a lot of customization options and Red Dead Redemption 1 not having a lot of customization options, people are wondering what's it going to be like in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Welcome everybody, my name is Golden Badger. I have a YouTube gaming channel. I make game guides, walkthroughs. I love doing speculation videos, inform informative videos, and today I'm going to be talking about customization in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. But before we do, make sure to leave a like on the video if you find yourself enjoying at one point. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to talk to me you can do that on, on discord on my twitter account and i also have a new instagram account so the links will be in the description below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and let's go so two things i want to touch on today are horse and or transport customization and character customization the things i want to see from horse customization um, are probably mainly going to be for stat boosts the things that you can probably customize on a horse are for example horseshoes Maybe you can upgrade your horse shoes, horse shoes like you could upgrade your tires in Grand Theft Auto Online to maybe get better traction or maybe even making sure that they don't fall off or, or something like that and you can maybe run faster, have more stamina, whatever. The second thing I want to talk about is the saddle. So there's already a confirmation on Rockstar's part that there's going to be custom saddles that you can uh, equip for your horse. Um, what I want to know is what's going to be custom about them. Are they going to have different stats? What's going to be different with the saddles? Also, I'm thinking the headgear of a horse. So you can see nowadays sometimes when a horse is on in a, in a game or whatever they call it, I don't really know. They have these 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 pads um, on their eyes, so they're so so they stay more focused on whatever they're doing. Maybe we can get that on our horse online to make sure they don't get spooked fast or I don't really know. Maybe get go faster and focus more on races. Also, saddlebags. So I want to see different saddlebags with maybe one being less heavy. Maybe you can store less stuff in them, but your horse can go faster, has more stamina. Or maybe you can have more stuff. You can, I mean, make your horse a packing mule, but your horse will tire out real fast and is not is not the quickest one, you know, that you can have. And also, I want to see reins. Can you, can you get different reins? And with that, I want to ask you guys a question. Would we be able to get a stagecoach or, you know, a cart of some sorts? Maybe a two-wheeler, a four-wheeler? We'll see about that. And how many horses... Can you put in front of it and how are those horses going to perform? For example, I think there's going to be multiple horses that you can have and all of them are going to have different stats, kind of like the cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. And maybe you can even out the, the, the odds with the equipment you give it. So maybe a shitty horse you find or you break and you put good equipment on it makes for a decent horse. Maybe you get a very, very high quality statistic wise horse and you put great equipment on it and you have a super horse like you have supercars in Grand Theft Auto. Those are all options that we can speculate on a little further in the next one. Okay, so next we have the character customization. Things I definitely want to see from character customization both in single player and online mode are I want to see different hats that we can buy. Maybe we can choose a color of them, maybe we can put feathers in them or leather straps around them, whatever. I just want to see customizable hat customizable hats as everybody was wearing hats in at those day in those days. And yeah, that's what I want to see now. Obviously as well, shirts, overcoats or trench coats or maybe those military vests that we can see Micah Bell wearing. Also a big thing that I want to be able to customize are the gun belts. So I want this to be an entire system. Um, I want you to be able to upgrade your gun belt to from having one holster to maybe having two holsters and maybe around the side having little whatever's to put your bullets in so you can carry more ammunition. I want to see a whole a full-fledged system to upgrade your gun belt as a gun belt is one of the <clears throat> it's one of the one of the main things you, you cowboys should have in those days. Also I want to be able to change my pants, which is fairly obvious, and I don't know what it's called, but you can see a lot of cowboys wearing them. Um, I think they're, they're called chaps, I'm not sure, but the leather things you put over your pants when you're riding a horse, I don't really know what it's called. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Also, I want to be able to change my boots and maybe even put spurs on my boots to get my horse going faster, if you know what I mean. Spurs all are also very western-y, thing that's been used a lot. I also want to know if we can get scarves, maybe, or bandanas, or face masks to use when we are doing heists so maybe we get less of a bounty or no bounty at all when we're doing outlaw stuff 
So definitely customizable bandanas, obviously gloves which we have seen in screenshots already for the pre-order bonuses. Maybe even a satchel as you guys can know. Um, if you're a role player in um, Grand Theft Auto Online you could put your parachute bag on your on your back and you can maybe even role play that it's a backpack, who knows. But I want to see satchels in Red Dead Redemption 2 online mode. The same satchels that John Marston has or that Arthur Morgan has in the trailers. So definitely a satchel, maybe even a customizable one so you can get more dynamite or more whatever you have. Also I want to see a full-fledged facial hair and hairstyle system where you can change your beards, your 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 mustache, your your I mean the hair on your head even if you're wearing a hat. I don't really care. I just want to see it. And also what I was thinking of, Native Americans in those days used to have war paint on their face. Uh, you can also get facial uh, tattoos and war paints in Grand Theft Auto Online, but I definitely want to see if you'll be able to um, play as a, an, a Native American character. Maybe you can even put facial tattoos or facial war paints on. That would be pretty cool. And also, if you didn't know, you can just buy pre-made outfits in Grand Theft Auto Online. And the outfits that I, for example, want to see, maybe in a DLC or whatever, is, uh, for example, the Marty McFly one from the third Back to the Future movie. Or maybe even the 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 doc uh, the doc outfit he has. Also, I want to see, for example, the Charlie Prince outfit from the, the 310 to Yuma movie, or the one that Russell Crowe is wearing. Just in general, cowboy outfits that have been that have been worn by famous cowboys from movies and stuff. So, guys, that was all I had to say about today's episode. So, if you found yourself enjoying it at one point, make sure to leave a like on that video. Comment down below if you watched through the whole video. You know what? Type Golden Badger down in the comments below to let me know if you watched the whole episode. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want to see more about me. There's links in the description below to my Twitter, to my Discord, and to my Instagram account. So, thanks so much for watching. I love you all. See you next time. Goodbye.